Hello and welcome to the Projector Project. My name is Diederik. I'm a 5-1 Splenic Projector here to talk to you about communication in human design and how human design is a language. It's a language to help ourselves understand who we are and how we are designed to communicate with other people and how it has been so helpful in my life, in relationship, in my working life. And I'm here to share stories from clients, both personal clients and corporate clients, and share also what's been coming up in the comments. So with that, welcome to Okotoks, just south of Calgary in Canada. It is a beautiful day and I wanted to take you guys outside for a little walk. So let's do it. So when I say communication in human design, straight away off the bat, it's how we are meant to engage in conversation. So if you are a generator or a manifesting generator, questions that are closed. Yes and no questions. That's how you're designed to communicate. Projectors, manifestors, reflectors, it's open questions. That off the bat is huge. The reason why is that when we have an open sacral, so anybody that's not a sacral being, in other words, anybody that's not a generator, if you ask that person a yes or no question, they may give a conditioned response. I'm a projector, and when I get a yes or no question, particularly for my partner, you know, I always ask her, can you ask me that in an open question? Or, you know, she's already getting used to that, so she'll ask me like, what are your thoughts on this being life-giving to do this thing? So that's been huge. Another thing, and I'm just gonna give some practical examples here, guys. So, you know, I'm, I'm not an official educator, and this is just me experimenting with the system for over seven years now, coming up almost on eight, actually. And just how it's been in practical terms in relationship and in the work that I've been doing in the corporate environment where the feedback I've been getting is like, you know, D, ever since you've come around, our communication has been better. There's more awareness. There is a, a real attempt being made by everybody to communicate in a way that works best for the other. And when I work with people with the human design, I always tell them like, look, you, you are your own authority, right? And in human design, you have an inner authority and it's up to you to make contact with that inner authority and go ahead and experiment with that, right? If you are a mental projector, it's more of an outer authority, but you know, for those of you out there that are mental projectors, hats off to you, greetings to you. We see you, my friends. So just back, you know, it is a language that we need to get used to, that people need to get used to. And that's the beauty of it. Um, one of my clients, we went through her, the themes of her strengths. And one of the themes was the line within that gate was gullibility. And she goes, you know, I am very gullible. She, she jokes, she's like, I'm very gullible. I. You know, you can, you can tell me anything and I'll believe you. You know, my kids, kids get me every time. And, you know, now she says, you know, I know that that's the case. So I tell people, you know, she says in the corporate environment, in her work environment, hey, I'm gullible. So, you know, basically like not only just don't mess with me, but, you know, be straight with me. You know, let me know what it is that you're really thinking and what you really want to communicate with me. So she she's taking something, has brought awareness to it, and now... She feels empowered through it. Of course, another one, and this is a big one, is if you are emotionally defined and you have emotional authority, you can't make decisions in the now. And that is huge in communication, right? Because that's like the whole like, hey, you know what? I know you're saying yes right now. I had a buddy of mine who was gonna come visit me when I was um, staying in Switzerland. And I, he was so excited. I was like, hey, I hear you, but I know you're an emotional projector. Let me reach out to you tomorrow and see if you still feel the same way. And he was like, okay, okay, because he was about to book the ticket. And lo and behold, the next day, he was, he was like, yeah, this is the right decision. I feel really good about this. 
I had a moment of like hesitation. He went through his wave and he's like, this is great. He booked it and it was perfect. It was perfect trip. So that's huge too. And just the question asking, particularly to the generator, right? You know, this happens all the time in relationship with me, you know, because I'm so open, I'm also feeling cognition. And just being a projector, we absorb auras. Sometimes, you know, I'll walk into the kitchen or wherever, you know, my partner is and I can just feel like, ooh, something's up. And I'm like, hey, are you okay? No. I was like, you want to talk about it? And she's like, no. I was like, should you talk about it? Yeah. You want to talk about it right now? Yeah. I'm like, okay. You know, um, do you know what's going on? not really or yes it's like does it have to do with me you know no okay can you tell me who has to, can you tell me who it has to do with yes it has to do with blah 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 and then it comes right and then we can probe so it's a beautiful tool particularly with generators to have that conversation and with the projector asking that open question the beautiful thing with that is that you really feel seen because you know I was talking about this with another friend of mine and you know a yes and no is like open close. It really is like it's very specific, which is great because that's what the strategy to respond, the to respond strategy of the generator comes in. For the projector, having that open question, it really allows us to 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 sit with it and to share, to to be heard and to figure out what it is that we're feeling and what is our truth. In the moment and have someone witness us in that right to be recognized in that process and manifestors as well you know one of the tips they give is like a manifestor figures out what their truth is as they're speaking and to not interrupt the manifestor when they're speaking until they're done and that's been huge and you know that was one of the tips that i gave to the people in the corporate environment i was working with and I was talking to him yesterday and he's like, yeah, you know, in my communication with this person, I noticed that he's giving me space, that he's really letting me speak and not interrupting me. And that's been really helpful. And just in general, just hearing how helpful this can be, not just in communication itself, in the language of human design, because the language is awareness. It's the awareness of gullibility. It's the awareness of being a single definition and needing time by yourself. That's huge that you can say, hey, listen, I love you. I just I just need to be by myself right now to, to process. It's like, hey, I got you. I know my human design. I know yours. I know this is important for you. Um, you take your time. And then when you come back, you know, I'm a, a split definition. I'd love for you to be there so I can bridge my, you know, bridge my splits and have that wholeness and be able to process what I'm feeling. You know, it just it takes it from like, why isn't everybody like me? When a human design comes in, it's like, oh, wow, this is me. This is my design. These are my strengths. This is my way of communicating. This is my way of making decisions. These are my strengths. Oh, what are yours? What are your strengths? How do you make decisions? How do you, like, what type are you? And it's a beautiful thing to see. And like I said, it levels the playing field. It brings a level of curiosity and, and kindness and compassion, too, for how someone else is wired differently because some things are so different being splenic you know i i'm meant to make decisions in the now i get the hit once it does not repeat and i need to trust it and it's not always rational so when someone asks me like well why are you doing this d i'm like i don't know and like in this culture a lot of times people will be you know they'll say well that's not good enough you gotta know why you know especially the parents you know my parents specifically and like having a partner that not only trusts me anyway or friends that trust me anyway but they they understand that we you know we talk human design you know that's partly my fault <laughs> you know I'm I'm a human design professional and I'm I'm really living this experiment of the human design right it's a it's a map your design and the experiment of living your design and as I've mentioned in other videos, me being here in, in Canada is me following my splenic authority. And it doesn't always make sense because there's a lot of uncertainty. But I know I'm guided. So when it comes to human design and communication, 
and this this language of human design it's so beautiful to see it in partnership i've seen it in clients of mine again in in small groups working together lots of stuff just comes up you know one of the things i talk about with generators like <laughs> you know <laughs> i always joke is this a, a a fuck yeah or a fuck no like what is it and i i have four i always say it's fuck yeah yeah no and fuck no <laughs> like oh or a heck no or a hell no you know and it's important to go there because in the work that i'm doing right now i'm finding out that a lot of things that were taken for granted and everybody was like oh we're all good there's so much information that's coming out now because of the space that's been created through human design through the awareness of what people's strengths are how they're meant to communicate are they meant to take time with their decision right so if the ceo or you know the manager is a emotional authority and needs to wait for clarity well then being able to tell your team hey guys i got all the information like anybody else need anything to share okay i'm gonna sit with this and i'll get back to you guys when i have my decision or when i need more information and then once once I, i'm there i'll let you guys know and to know as a team that you can expect the manager to take some time to make the decision or you have a partner that needs to sit on it right so it makes me really not only happy but blessed to know that the system is here particularly for you know i would say every type really don't get me wrong but particularly if you're a projector or a manifester or a reflector it's like oh my god you know in this world of generators i love you guys and generators and manifesting generators that you know we're just meant to operate so differently and having a system that tells us in a practical terms how we're meant to be different and how we communicate differently it can really help because you know oftentimes we try to live like generators and if i look back at my corporate you know time in corporate holy moly was that rough <laughs> you know working in a large open environment I, i'm not made for large groups i take in all those auras I work better on my own, you know, in my own aura, so it just overwhelmed me. And if I was in a work environment that supported my differentiation, what makes me unique, man, it would have been such a different experience for me and so many people around me. And part of the things I'm really passionate about now is going back to these working environments and creating a culture that has that level of open communication because that's the biggest thing communication being able to be honest about what you're feeling and be heard and be seen especially as projectors and knowing that it's not about quantity it's about quality particularly as a projector so again coming back to it being a language around the awareness that we are all designed to be different and that's the beauty of it. I'm curious as to your experience with the human design system when it comes to communication and this, this new language and this new way of communicating and of understanding each other, understanding self. So please comment, subscribe, let me know what's going on, let me know what your experience has been. And I look forward to seeing you on the next episode, my friends. Ciao. Much love.